Since the closing of the Multiple Birth Awards in the district, Harrow University Hospital recently announced they will be expanding their birth award to accommodate displaced women east and other cases of the river. United Medical Center in Southeast DC closed its birth award last summer and soon to follow this Providence Hospital in October 2017. The expansion aims to accommodate 2,000 women with births, nurses, and current That caused a concern because you had a, a, a maternity ward that was the only ward available to um, residents in Ward 7 and 8, which is about 145,000 residents. Then shortly after that, um, Providence decided that they were going to shut down their maternity ward. And that was like a 60-day notice to the providers, and then the patients really didn't understand that too much because they didn't get an advance notice. And ultimately, Providence is now shutting down their entire hospital um, this December. It impacted them in ways that forced women to have to try and get multiple buses, multiple routes just to get to hospital expeditiously. Titiana Hartley, mother of two, lives right on the edge of Maryland and D.C., but said she made the conscious decision to give birth to her one month old daughter at Sydney Hospital, a top hospital in Northwest D.C. It was a very deliberate choice to have my baby there, especially with Chloe. I, I was very thoughtful about the type of service I thought I would get and then um, I have a neighbor who is a neonatal nurse and has had the opportunity to work at pretty much every single hospital in the DC Maryland area not so much Virginia and I sat with her and she told me that Sibley is a place where probably the doctors choose to give birth so I thought mm-hmm and that's where I want to be. talking about impacting women where the ability to get to a doctor in an urgent situation has been reduced. Um, so much so that already you're looking at where areas where the mortality is higher, the morbidity is higher. The concern a lot of us have is how many people, based on statistics, how many people would die. of places to go for prenatal care because there's options in Ward 7 and 8. Um, but the women are not going. And it's time for us to have a different conversation about why they are not choosing to utilize the access places for care. And then the overall bigger issue is that um, uh, we need more providers of color, people that look like them, taking care of them. Um, and then co providers that are not of color they need to be culturally, provide culturally aware care. While there are evident efforts to increase access to hospitals for pregnant women in Ward 7 and 8, the question still remains, how will these residents get there? 